This is the FlipNerd.com Expert Real Estate Investing Show, the show for real estate investors, whether you're a veteran or brand new. I'm your host, Mike Hambright, and each week I bring you a new expert guest that will share their knowledge and lessons with you. If you're excited about real estate investing, believe in personal responsibility, and taking control of your life and financial destiny, you're in the right place. This is episode 309, and my guest today is Andre Sukuric. Andre is a real estate investor in the Minneapolis area. He runs a real estate club, flips around 100 houses a year, and even has a TV show. But not all that long ago, he moved here from Russia and was not only broke, but he had $20,000 in debt. In fact, he hardly even spoke English. But he had a vision for how he wanted his life to look and found his way into real estate investing where he works tirelessly to achieve his vision. In part one of today's show, we're going to learn more about Andre, a little bit more about his story, and uh, he's going to share some really cool information on how his real estate investing company is different than almost any others that you've heard about. They really focus heavily on the customer experience, the seller experience, which is very rarely uh, something you hear about in real estate investing. Now in part two, Andre is going to share some details about how he builds relationships with sellers and uh, generates referral leads after the fact from other people they know that want to sell their house as well. So it's a really powerful uh, lesson. Now a lot of folks don't focus on after you deal with a seller, a lot of times we kind of move on and really forget about that person. But um, not Andre, he's found a way to get leads from folks based on providing just an outstanding experience. He's also gonna share about how you could build your own success plan because he had to figure that out on his own when he moved to America. And if you're a pro or elite member, you do not wanna miss part two of today's show. So let's go ahead and get started. Please help me welcome Andre Sikorik to the show. Andre, welcome to the show, my friend. Hey, Mike, how are you? Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad to uh, glad to have you on. And um, I want you to introduce yourself in just a second here, but I'll tell everybody a little bit of backstory. You joined the mastermind uh, that I'm in, uh, Collective Genius, and uh, recently, and um, you had just a great story about how uh, really, kind of your entire story about coming coming to the United States from uh, from uh, Russia, and you know how you kind of went from not even speaking the language to running a seven figure uh, real estate business and having an education business and a TV show and all sorts of other stuff. So it was really impressive, and uh, I'm I'm really excited that you're here to share your story with with all of our listeners. Oh wow, thank you. So well, my story is not different than the story of millions of other immigrants who come here because we don't have any other choices but just to become successful. And most of the people come here with like a couple hundred bucks. I came here with $20,000 in debt. That's yeah. what the only reason <laughs> for me to come here. I wanted to make my money and go back home. And uh, uh, when I came here, I started, uh, I didn't have any money, I didn't know anybody. And the only place available for me was public library. So I went to the public library and started reading, started researching. And I found a book uh, by Napoleon Hill, Think yeah. and Grow Rich. Yeah. I found a book by uh, Robert, uh, Jack Canfield, uh, The Success Principles. And third book was uh, by Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Cash Flow Quadrant. So mm -hmm. I read those books and that uh, it led to... Uh, me going to different conferences and I became, I went to Jack Canfield training, trained the trainer, it changed my life, I became his assistant for many events and I went to Robert Kiyosaki and I started building my cash flow properties. Yeah. And uh, now, like 10 years later, I have a company, uh, the company name is Homestead Road and we're here in Minneapolis, uh, I have a TV show. I have rental business and speaking business, uh, so that's so, my story. Andre, before you came here, were, were you entrepreneurial before, or what kind of what kind of caused you to take the entrepreneurial route versus kind of the traditional route of, you know, getting a job or whatever when you came here? Yeah, good question. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've always been entrepreneurial. Like I started selling chewing gums at eleven, <laughs> and I failed a couple of businesses. And the reason why I came here actually because my business failed. Uh, and my brother uh, loaned the money to me, and uh, I had to repay it back. Okay, okay. And, and, and why real estate? Why did you, what, what kind of caused you to get into real estate versus other things? 
Well, I think real estate is the best tool to become financially independent. And for me, like without speaking the language, I'm still learning it, but it didn't stop me from uh, buying houses and remodel them and sell and building rental portfolio. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, I know you're going to talk a little bit about this, about how you think of yourself more as a marketer than a real estate uh, investor. And I, I've always thought the same way. I mean, real estate just happens to be the, the, the kind of widget that I buy and sell, but ultimately you're, you're a marketing person, right? You have to generate leads. You have to do all those things or nothing works. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, tell us a little bit about your, your company, um, about Homestead Road and, uh, maybe some of the ways that you're a little bit, you know, different than others too. Cause that, that really, uh, hit home with me when I saw some of the videos you do, some of the commercials and how, you know, how kind of intertwined you are in your community. Well, with the, the story of Homestead Road, uh, I decided to to start with the end in mind, like Stephen Covey says. And I imagine like, okay, how I want my company to look like. The only way to be successful, I need to hire somebody who is really good at marketing. Because most of the companies, they look like uh, used car salespeople. They call and say, hey, I can pay you pennies on dollars for the house. And I decided to change that. Hmm. And uh, I hired the best marketing director, I think, who has extensive experience, and he helped me to build the story about the company, about the logo. And now we decided that we we want to have completely different message than anybody else has. We excluded, uh, we pay cash from our advertisement. Our tagline is "Feel the joy of selling a house as is," hmm. or "Feel selling a house as is has never felt this good." And we built all the marketing materials around that. Another thing, what we decided to do, I went to a company called Zappos, the shoe company. Yeah. I've uh, probably heard about them. Yep. And I brought my entire team, entire office to learn from Zappos. They have a, a Zappos inside training. Yeah. And so all the people in my office had experience, like how they serve the customers. So one hour core value is. Uh, serving people better than anybody else. Yeah. So it, a lot, it includes a lot of uh, wow comp components in the selling process. Like, for example, when we go in the house, to the house, we tell people, hey, you don't need to do anything. We clean it, clean out the house. We work with Salvation Army. So we'll box it up, donate, and the rest of the stuff will go to the dumpster. And when the house is completely remodeled, we're going to create a memory book for you and have a <clears throat> house tour when you can invite the whole family and you look through the house and see how beautiful it is and we'll yeah. give you a memory book with the whole like with with the pictures of the house so cuz selling a house is like it's emotional yeah uh, absolutely very emotional for a lot of people. So I just we just bought a we we bought a couple houses in the last couple of days actually. So with, but one of the houses that we bought is actually uh, just a couple miles from my office here. So it was, uh, that's always exciting. That's not like on the other side of town. But um, specifically, this woman said, "I really want to see the pictures afterwards." She's lived there for 27 years. Her son was born there, and now he's 27 years old, and you know moved out and everything. But she really wants to see because you know it's just basically a ton of deferred maintenance and. It's dated and everything, and she was really excited about seeing the after uh, side. So, does that does that mean that do you do you rehab one hundred percent of your properties, or do you do wholesaling and things as well, or are you primarily? No, we don't do rehabs. We have a construction crew, so most of the houses we rehab ourselves. Yeah. We have too many. Like we have right now thirty eight projects. Uh, wow. We have contractors partners, so we partner with them on the rehabs. I see. Uh, I see. Okay. And so, um, that's interesting though, because, uh, you're right. A lot of people, uh, I think, um, a lot of investors are so, you know, the I buy houses type, you know, they just, the, there's no branding, there's no loyalty. There's just, it's very transactional. Now it's easy to see why it got that way because you're only going to generally do one transaction with a person. But I think a lot of times we forget that for us, it's just another deal for them, it's the, one of the biggest decisions they've ever made in their life probably. And for a lot of folks, you know, a lot of the houses that we buy, the houses are generally paid off or, you know, a person has lived there for a long time. So they have a lot of memories and things like that. Sometimes they may have some bad memories and may not, you know, even you just, they just want to close that door. But, 
Um, but no, that's that's really cool. How did you come up with that idea of of the fact that people kind of weaving that into your pitch that we're going to show you what happens in the next chapter of the life of this house, I guess. It's time for a quick announcement. We'll be back to the show in less than 30 seconds. PassiveRental.com is your source for turnkey, done-for-you rental properties. If you'd like to be an investor and not a landlord, please visit PassiveRental.com to learn how to purchase cash-flowing, professionally-managed rental properties in the hottest rental markets across the country. We can also help connect you with financing for your next property. Invest the easy way today and get started by visiting PassiveRental.com. How do you kind of lay out this vision realistically of what you want to do and then back into the steps to get there? Well, I think for a lot of time, it just starts with deciding what you want. Because it's like a GPS. If you don't enter your destination, you can drive around many hours, many days, many years, but you're never going to be where you want to be. Want. So the first step is to decide where exactly you want to be in five years, three years, and to set goals and put them. But talk about that because a lot of people, I think, I think it's easier to say, I want to be able to make quarter million dollars a year, million dollars a year, whatever a number is easy, but to envision like what my company looks like, how we serve others, how we, how, what, 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 what my team looks like. That's a, that's a lot harder to do. Well, but like I went to a lot of Tony Robbins events and uh, yeah. Jack Canfield. And first is you got to change your beliefs because your beliefs will dictate your actions and your actions will do, dictate your results. So you cannot change your actions if you don't change your beliefs. So you got to believe in yourself. And it's a daily work with affirmations, with different exercises, how to increase your self-esteem and uh, create a picture. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will believe in you. Right, right. Well, I, I don't think I told you this up front. Uh, one of the things that we started doing recently on our show is we went out uh, on Facebook and Twitter and asked people to give us some questions. We said, hey, we're going to be interviewing Andre. Can you give us some questions? So, uh, so Tom um, asked a question uh, and said his question for you is this is specifically for you. So he must know a little bit about you is how do you balance building a business maximizing your profit and kind of helping your community and kind of being a part of your community as well. I think a lot of real estate investors are, uh, I, I, there's a lot of negativity around real estate investors, unfortunately. Right. But a lot of them are very much feel like if they're in for themselves, kind of in and out fly by night type. So, so Tom asks, how do you balance building a business, maximizing profit and helping your community all at the same time? Well, it's a great question. So at first, I wanted to to build a company to sell it, and then I completely changed my perspective. I want to build a company like I never want to sell it. And like what Tony Shea, the CEO of Zappos said, he said, if you follow your dream, money will follow. But if you chase the money, you're not, you don't, you're never going to to get you to to chase you to to get your dream. Yeah. So I decided if I'm going to do right things and serve every client and to have like high rating, we feedback every person, so we get about nine point five to ten percent on a scale one to ten, and we're going to deliver wow experience. It it's just a matter of time when those people will refer will start referring people because. They had such a great experience with us. Yeah. So if we need to do something extra for people, we'll do that. I don't. I, I, and I know that if we do it, we do right things. Money will follow. Yeah. So my yeah. my sales guys, they have. Uh, I don't limit them. Hey, if you want to do something extra for the people, like for well, let me give you an example. I tell people, usually when they go on appointment, we support local charity called cookie card and what they do is they train people like from the bad neighborhoods like basic skills so my sales guys they go on appointment with the with cookies from that charity and they say hey this is the charity we support and uh, if a person cannot move we'll pay for moving expenses we hire a company who will pack them up hmm. at no charge when we sign a purchase agreement if they think that they can do something extra for people, they don't need my approval. 
they just go and do that. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. And I know like every time I do something extra, that person w- will tell the experience because nobody else does it. Right. Right. That's awesome. Well, um, I want to uh, uh, kind of jump into the taking action segment here. Thanks for joining us up to this point in the show. The second half of our show is restricted to only FlipNerd Pro and Elite members and only accessible on FlipNerd.com. If you're not a Pro or Elite member yet, you can upgrade your account in about one minute by visiting FlipNerd.com slash upgrade. Depending on membership level, you'll get access to off-market properties real-time, including real-time email and text alerts for new properties listed in your market. You'll get access to hundreds of full-length expert interviews and elite members get access to the Flip Nerd Lab, which includes detailed masterclass trainings, two live webinars a month where you can interact with leaders in the industry, and access to our elite mastermind group, where you can interact with hundreds of the top real estate investors in America, build relationships with those that are actually operating successful real estate investing businesses. By visiting flipnerd.com slash upgrade, you'll learn much more about our membership options. And once you've upgraded your membership, come on back and listen to the rest of this show. Wish you could watch or listen to more flipnerd.com shows? You can. As a premium member, you can get access to the full length of hundreds of past shows at flipnerd.com slash shows. Or hear us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, or Google Play. While you're there, please subscribe so you don't miss another episode. And if you like what you hear, we'd really love a positive review. It's the ultimate high five for us. Show us some love by subscribing and giving us a great review today. Thank <laughs> you.